a very hard day to start with. Everybody was really nervous today and uh, really trying to do well. I think it was a mix of uh, good big teams coming out of the two smaller teams that want to prove themselves and it was just overall a very hard day. But uh, in the end we got control back at, I don't know, 30, 35, 30 k's to go. We started to look, to look better that we were going to chase them back. And at 5 k's we did. We catch them back and uh, I was getting ready to do my sprint and everything went well. I need to take the opportunities because with the world titles this year being a sprinter, yeah, I'd like to cement a bit of a leadership role in the Australian team. So I would like to have won, but uh, you know, a nice uh, clean sprint and everyone stayed upright. The weather was beautiful. The course was really nice, and um, yeah, it was a good day out there. Bueno, ha sido una carrera que se ha salido desde de salida muy muy rápido. Ha costado. It started really quickly. Yeah, it was a really fast race in the first 30 kilometers. Y los últimos. And in the final kilometers, the peloton caught them pretty quickly, and he just you know, sat in, and that was the end of the race. And he was very happy to have won the sprint. I went in the early break away which wasn't actually the plan but I tried to give it a go and defend my title as hard as possible I enjoyed it again and the crowd was amazing like 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 last year amazing I mean I think it's a great great event uh, what's really nice about it obviously is that uh, people can get out there and do the same same roads as us um, in, in the morning and it's amazing to see the the, the number of participants um, I think it, it, it's I mean, shows shows a lot about how far the sport has come in the last few years in Britain.